Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas is night. We're making chicken and shrimp and a white garlic white wine sauce. in here. We got butter in the pan. We really need to bread it chicken in here. I breaded them up already. And you weren't looking. Got this chicken cooking in here and this butter. Let's flip her over. Yeah. How's she looking now? That's what I thought. Look at that. I'm pretty boy. Pretty. Pretty pretty. Christmas chicken. It's a cooking. We got this pan over here. We're going to start our our roux for our cream sauce in here. While our chicken's cooking. Pause up. See there, that's what we're gonna need. White wine. Oh yeah, pizza grigio, baby. Sour cream, great bag. Time to make a roux. Let's flip this chicken again. All right, let's give it a little bit longer. Let me see. Let me just check it. Check it. Not nah, a little bit longer. Let's brown up a little. There we go. Check that chicken now. Look, look better. Look better. Flip her over, baby. Yeah. Put her back over there for a couple seconds. Make sure everything's cooked right. We're going to let it cook a little more. A little bit later. Let's go ahead and put these down here. I know y'all are saying, what's that piece of bread for? I just have a plastic plate. I don't want to melt in that plate. So I start them off on there, move them to the plate. Too lazy to go wash another plate. Just wash that one. My hot water heater broke as of this morning. Maverick Christmas. Be fixed tomorrow, though. All right, we got them out of the pan. Now you can guess what's next. That's right. Shrimp. I got the extra small ones, so I got a lot of them. Keep those in the wash, ready to go. Drop them right in there. Half a bagger. We got our butter in there already. them in there oh yeah looking good looking good let them fry up got our shrimp cooking cooking that up I hate these electric stoves. I can't get no gas right now. Walmart closed. Alright. We 
chopped our onions up already. We only did a half onion. We're gonna throw that in our pot over here. Got a pot full of butter here. It's for our roux. We're gonna make our cream roux in here. Cream roux. Place them onions up the best you can. I like mine slightly big. I like onions. I'm not trying to hide them. People dice them up small so they cook up to nothing. But I don't mind a little onion. Actually, I like the texture and the flavor. Throw them in there. Stir that butter up in them. Get them in there good. You want to open up your garlic. I know. You all like fresh garlic. I ain't got it like that right at this moment. So we do what we got. So I put about a tablespoon. Tablespoon of garlic. Don't overdo it. You don't want to over blast it. I put a little extra just because that's me. So maybe three or four cloves in the roux, depending on how much roux you make. I'm making enough for five chickens and a little bit of making small portion tonight. And I ain't got the. I ain't gonna cook no noodles till tomorrow. I'll redo it tomorrow. No noodles till tomorrow. Them onions get that garlic in there. It's dog. What's up, dog? He likes that food. Watch and make sure nobody coming next to. Him. All right, we're switching from this one to this one, and we dump the shrimp. In with the onions and garlic. Do that stir around a little bit. Couldn't get that other one to work too good for some reason. Do that shrimp in there. Get them onions cooked up in there good. chicken over here waiting over here waiting get that cook up real good All right it's about time we add our onion powder we got onions in there that's all right onion powder give it an extra flavor that dry onion don't be scared to put what you like in there. Some pepper. I didn't put all this in before because I wanted it to cook first. Then I put my ingredients in there. I didn't want to burn up my ingredients. A little pepper. I already put a little salt. Alright. Cooking up. Cooking up. Frying them onions, garlic, and shrimp up. Yeah, look at, look at them. Look at those morsels, boy. Mm. See the garlic getting soft in there, getting all sugared up, melting butter in the butter. Look at that shrimp, looking good, boy, looking good. That shrimp nice and crunchy. Good. If you can only smell it, if you can only smell it. Alright, here. We got them still cooking in that butter sauce. We're gonna hit it with that uh, 
Pinot Grigio. Do a half a bottle. A little more. And you let the rest of the onions cook in there. The rest of that garlic cook in that wine. Watch it sizzle. Looking good, looking good. Looking real good. Nice and creamy already, you see it? You see it? Get them up in there good. Oh yeah, look at it now. Look at it now. See a lot most of that wine burn off, cook it off. Now we're gonna add our cream. Cream into our butter, shrimp, onion, garlic. Roux, baby. Put enough in there to cover it. That's all. Don't overdo it. You could add a little more if you need to. You could add it easier than you could take it away. Let's get that moving around in there. that root mixed up into that cream. You like that? Pretty good, huh? Um, I'll let that cook up too. Let that root cook up in there. Now we're going to take some of that sour cream, maybe do one, two, probably about a little more than half a cup, a little more than half a cup sour cream. Mix it in there with your roux and your shrimp and your onions and your garlic and your cream. Mix it in there good evenly. You want to get it around, get it nice. Take your time, you don't want to splash them. Yeah, look at it. It's all stirred up nice and mix it up evenly. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Butter, cream, sour cream. Onions, garlic, salt, pepper, onion powder, and the shrimp. In a couple seconds, we're going to add chicken. All right, put a little flour, a little cup. I feel like washed one, so I use the water bottle I cut. A little water. You want to stir that around. Make a paste. Stir that up real, real good. Flour and water. You want to make a paste? We're gonna make a paste. That's gonna thicken up this sauce. All right, let me get over here. We got our cream sauce cooking. Here, I'll show you. Still a little, a little creamy, but a little watery. And that's good. I mean, I like it a little, a little bit creamy, creamy. But you want to thicken it up just a little bit, so it's more like a sauce instead of like water. Pour a little bit of that. Not too much. You don't want to over thicken it. Stir that around evenly flour and water. You can use cornstarch also. I got flour so I use flour. 
Stir that all up in there together. Looking good, looking good. Get that all up in there nicely. So it thickens out evenly. You see it thickening more and more as we go. That flour starts cooking in there. I don't think we need no more. I think that's good. You can add whatever you like it. Looks like that's thick enough for me. You don't want to put too much, then you get too thick and you have to add cream because it won't work. Yeah. Usually you got a set of noodles. I'm gonna make noodles tomorrow. I'm just gonna eat this by itself tonight. Let's put our chicken in here. We got one. Let's put them all on one side that we can put the sauce on them. Two, three, four, and then five. It's only me. Yeah, get that up in there. Don't float. Yeah, that's how you do it. Keep bringing it from back here. You'd be alright. Turn these chickens. Turn these chickens. Turn them around. Be nice to them. You don't want all your bread to fall off. I didn't bread chickens in front of you. Didn't them chickens dip them in a little egg? Fry them up real quick. No flour. Just egg. In the egg. Fry them up with some butter real quick. There it is, folks. Chicken and shrimp and a white wine, butter sour cream sauce, garlic, and onion. Should look good. Make some noodles, throw them on top of some noodles, put some cream on there. Oh, God, there's nothing better. There it is.